What is up guys, it's Mike here and today we are going to be looking at the final case for 2021 for the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Alright guys, so this should be it. This should be the final video of the case reviews for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. However, there's one case I don't have. I only have one truck and it's the Treasure Hunt to Case H. Now, Case H has not been in my area. Hopefully, I can find that. This is actually the second year in a row where Case H is pretty hard to come by. However, here it is. This is the final case for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for 2021. It's Case M, and we have a lot of repeat trucks. However, we have one truck that's pretty new and pretty cool looking, and it's a Bigfoot finally. However, there is a knife truck in this case. Now, it is not on this card art. I have yet to see this truck in stores. Hopefully, I can find it. It is the last treasure hunt piece for 2021, and it's none other than the Miles Morales Spider-Man truck. Now, I have yet to see it. I've only seen pictures online. However, there are a couple pictures online, especially on the Brian Z. Patton website, that that Miles Morales truck is actually the last treasure hunt truck, and it is in case M. As on the back of that truck's card art, it has all these trucks on it besides Hulk. It replaces the Venomized Hulk truck. So hopefully I can find that. With that being said, since it's a chase or chase piece or treasure hunt piece, a lot of people are not going to get their hands on it as I'm still missing the Chicago hot dog truck and the Herbie truck. So I'm not going to count that truck into this list because it is pretty rare to get. However, it is nice to see another chase piece for 2021 and a nice truck basically... Basically, what it looks like is the Spider-Man casting truck, but it's with Mile Morales colors, which I believe are black, red, and everything like that. When I saw it online, it kind of looks like the Iron Spider, if you remember that truck from Target exclusive. So with that being said, Case M, kind of seen a lot of these trucks before earlier in the year. So I'm going to start this off by ranking my least favorite truck to my favorite truck in this case. Just by looking at it, you guys might be able to tell which one I like the most. But with that being said, let's start off with the truck that I think is the worst. Alright, and by looking at the back of that package for Case M, I think a lot of us can agree what truck is number 8. One truck that we all don't like. Definitely the Camaro. Um, yeah. So, this is actually the second time this year we are seeing Camaro. There's actually two of these trucks this year. We are seeing one that's... I guess an all rallies special edition truck, which I have yet to see those on eBay. I have yet to see them anywhere. So it's going to be interesting to see if, when and how those get released. Now we did see this truck in case B of this year. And I kind of thought, okay, we saw, you know, we saw it in the early parts of this year. And I was kind of hoping not to see it again. And we basically almost got through the entire year without seeing it. I think Hot Wheels is kind of picking up that a lot of people don't like this truck. It's just, it looks so on proportion. It just, honestly, it looks like I could have took a monster truck casting and a Hot Wheels car casting and made this truck myself. Now, this is truck number 10 out of 75. It was in case B. It's truck number 3 out of 6 for fan favorites. And it's just, it's a copy and paste one that we've always been seeing. Now, we did see a couple different versions of this truck over the past year and a half. We did see a 5-pack exclusive that was yellow with racing stripes on it, which was kind of refreshing to see. However, that was an exclusive truck in a 5-pack. And then we did see the one from the first wave of the old rally, all the parts trucks. I mean, honestly, look, I got nothing against Camaros. I think Camaros are a great car. They're pretty quick. They could be quick, done right. But seeing it on a monster truck, it's just, I don't know. I just i just don't like it. It's just something that's very off with it. The wheel gap, maybe if they made the car a little more bigger proportion to, like, fit the tires. It's just, it's just goofy looking. I just, this is one truck where I just don't like it. And I'm not alone. I know a lot of people don't like it, too. I would say this is probably one of the worst trucks besides the Jeep truck, which if the Jeep was done right with proportion size, that would be a lot better. Herbie or the Love Bug truck, I pick that over this because this one's just, it just does not look right. However, it is the 18 Chevy Camaro SS. It is a muscle car, not a truck. 
The strength is the smoking rear tires, and the crash attack is the competition crush. It's just, I don't know. I just, I don't want to see this thing in 2022. Please, Hot Wheels. And if you do, make it the right size. But please, please, on behalf of a lot of people, make this the last time we see this thing for a long time. Please. Or make it the 124 scale. That makes it look right. Maybe. So the next truck in on the list is a truck we've seen quite a bit of. However, it is a pretty cool looking design truck and I do like the way this thing looks. It is the first time we ever saw a Neon Shockers from Hot Wheels in 2021 and it's none other than Torque Terra. Now this was a really cool looking truck when this thing got released. This was in case A and it was pretty cool. I really like the way this truck looked. This gave me a lot of hope for trucks this year that were a pickup casting. And I was hoping basically every pickup casting would have headlights and a grill. And I think someone does have taillights too, right? No, it actually does not. But I was hoping a lot of these pickup truck castings would be full grill, full decals. It gave us a lot of hope. However, this truck is starting to become very... I would say peg warmer-ish. It's one truck that I've always seen on the pegs. It's always been in the stores. When Case A came out earlier this year this was going to be one of the trucks that flew off the shelf which it was and now it's just kind of like that peg warmer also this truck with the duos pack it had a crushable car in it and i think it was the orange car or the yellow car and that was actually one of the cars that i used for the video so i actually have a ton of these trucks laying around and i don't want to say the truck is too like repetitive because it's brand new at least with the neon shockers and it was the first one we saw and it's a cool looking design it's just it's sad to see something that we saw in the beginning of the year basically getting it back this year and it's copy and paste maybe if they reversed like where the pink was and made that like the green or you know did something a little different I mean, I don't really know what else you could do. I just, I hate it. I kind of hate it when Hot Wheels just does this copy and paste thing. And, you know, sometimes it works for bigger trucks or more famous trucks. But, nonetheless, it's a pretty cool looking truck. We did see it again. The truck, I don't know, it's just, it has a peg warmer feel to me. The name is Torque Terror. The truck type is Pickup. The strength is Transport Heavy Loads. And the crash attack is the Pile Driver. Nonetheless, this truck gave us a lot of hope this year, and I think kicking off and ending the year with the very first Neon Shockers truck is pretty cool in retrospect. However, other trucks in this case, just it's nice to see something a little newer. However, it's good if you did miss this truck in the beginning and your area didn't get this, you do have a chance to get it now near the end of the year. And the truck just missing the top five is none other than Race Ace. So this is actually a pretty interesting truck because this is one of very few trucks where it's been in multiple cases this year. We first saw this in case C and I believe case E and now we're seeing it in case M. We've also had this truck as an exclusive for a huge play set with a volcano and a dinosaur which is very cool looking. And we also had a lot of this truck in the duo packs. There was a lot of them with the crushed cars. There was different variants with them. And Race Ace is a pretty cool looking truck. Now this truck was from a video game a couple years ago that Hot Wheels made. And it's cool to see that they took a video game truck and they made it into a real life die cast truck. And this truck is actually not just made into a toy. It's actually made as part of Team Bigfoot. And I believe it runs on the Bigfoot 19 or 20 chassis in the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live, which is really cool to see this thing come to life. And with Race Ace, it seems like this truck kind of just came out of nowhere. And if you didn't really know the history with this truck or this paint scheme, then I could see you don't really understand it. But it's cool to see how this truck came out of nothing in like, I would say, under a year and a half and basically with the pandemic and everything this thing became a real life monster truck which is pretty cool however i feel like looking at everything that's been released this year seeing what trucks came out seeing how many trucks got repeat it just it feels like hot wheels shoved this truck down our throat and i'm all for the truck i think it's a cool design i think it looks awesome it's nice to see this truck in real life however it has that thing where it's just too much of it too much of it i think this truck is in the most cases for this year this truck is in three cases and there's just so many different ways to get it however i do like it i think the paint job on it's cool it's cool that they made it into a real life truck 
However, it is the same exact truck in every single time it's been released. Besides the Volcano Dinosaur playset, which is $100, and the only difference with that is, is the truck has a black chassis. So, I mean, yeah. For a truck that came out near kind of, I would say like March, April-ish, we got a lot. And for that reason, it's going to miss the top five. It is truck number 20 out of 75. And it's truck number, what number was that actually? It's truck number five out of seven for Hot Wheels Live, which is pretty cool. And it's also the name of the truck is Race Ace. The truck type is pickup. The strength is always go big. And the crash attack is a big time bash. However, I got nothing against this truck. I just feel like Hot Wheels kind of shoved it down our throats this year. But nonetheless, it is nice to see a truck that once was absolutely nothing and just in a random Hot Wheels video game get made into a diecast truck. And not only that, but got made into a real life truck. However, we've seen a lot of it. And we even seen, I think, a 124 scale of this truck too. So, pretty cool, but a lot of it. So, the truck breaking the top five on this list has got to be this one. I think this is actually one of the coolest trucks that they made. And it's none other than Scorpedo. So, the interesting thing with Scorpedo is, we've seen a couple of these. And one thing where it was kind of weird to see this truck released at the beginning of the year, especially last year when they came out with that Scorpion playset, and that this truck did not come with that. This truck was released in Case A. However, Case A was completely overshadowed by the Snake Bite truck that got released. And funny enough, the Snake Bite truck is in this case as well. But this truck did get three releases last year, or this year in 2021. We saw the Roaring Rumble playsets, which was a Radiation Scorpion, which was pretty cool. And then we saw my personal favorite paint job on this truck in the Duos pack, which I have yet to find. And that's the Blue Scorpion. Scorp Pedo, which was kind of cool so since this truck only had different three different releases this one being the most famous because obviously this was the most common one then the warring rumble pack double pack that was kind of hard to find for a little bit but i am finding those in stores now a little easier and i would say the blue one is definitely the rarest this is truck number seven out of 75 it's truck number one out of seven for the wild ride and looking at the back here the name of the truck is scorpedo the truck type is Creature, the strength is the Colossal Claws, and the crash attack is the Squeeze and Sting. And I really like this truck, I really do. It's a really cool looking truck, it's an awesome looking casting, I mean I really do like it. I like how the tail, the stinger, is basically that hard plastic. I mean they, they really knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. It's kind of weird because I kind of thought, you know, this would get released with the Scorpion playset but they waited a year which is kind of interesting and it's going to be interesting to see what else they can do you know for 2022 with this truck i kind of hope they release the blue one the blue one if you guys have it or you guys know the blue one i'm talking about it looks so much better than that that paint color that blue it just looks way better but this truck is definitely going to cr crack the top uh five here just because it's it's really cool looking i really do like it and like i said it did not have a ton of releases like say something like race ace or bone shaker had this year but pretty cool nonetheless and the truck coming in at number four in this list it's kind of the truck that gets left out when you're looking at it at least value wise at least to me and it's none other than the venom hulk now this thing is really cool looking i love the way this truck looks i love venom i kind of wish venom had his own truck though i can understand the venom hulk basically venomized hulk i think that's kind of cool how they twisted that in but like i said i kind of wish venom had his own truck maybe next year in 2022 this is truck number 75 out of 75 so this is the very last truck for 2021 at least in the singles and it's pretty cool to re release it this way i guess i mean venom hulk we did see it last year it was not the last truck of last year but it was somewhere in there and the interesting thing is we didn't really get a hulk truck at all this year until case l and the last case we had the normal hulk which was from basically the same casting we had we also had another hulk that got released in the doubles that was really early in the year this year with i think spider-man it was spider-man and hulk and that was pretty cool so i mean Hulk was kind of forgotten about in a way until the last couple months of the year here and this one has been proven to be the hardest one to find besides the Bigfoot ride truck in this case. 
uh, this was actually the last truck I needed to complete this case. And it was kind of interesting because I couldn't find it. Now, looking at this one in the package, this is the 2021 version and this is the 2022 version. There's absolutely no difference. The truck is just a strictly copy and paste, which is kind of upsetting. There's no difference whatsoever on these, even the chassis and bead color just nothing is different which is kind of upsetting but i really don't understand what they could have made different on it so the name of the truck is the venomized hulk the truck type is character the strength is the blackout and the crash attack is the sim boy i can't say that smash i forgot the name of it i just saw carnage or what was it venomous carnage and i forgot sim i can't say it but um yeah pretty cool looking truck definitely one of the hardest and kind of cool to end the way on venom kind of makes you wonder Maybe in 2022, do we have a Venom truck coming? And if we do, can we please have a brand new casting with Venom? So Venom, hopefully, maybe we'll see a Venom truck. I think that would be kind of cool. I feel like Hot Wheels should shuffle out some of the Marvel trucks. We are starting to see, you know, repeats of them. So hopefully we can see some new guys come in. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, that's going to crack Venom for the top four here. All right, so truck number three. Now, this is kind of hard because I kind of go off basically value sometimes and this truck is strictly on that now i do like the casting because it is one of hot wheels most famous castings and it's none other than the super fueled shark reek now this truck is number three on this list because we haven't seen it and it's kind of odd in this truck i feel like it's forgotten about but we haven't seen this truck since last year and even though we've seen the casting we've seen tiger shark we've seen tons of shark trucks this one I like. It's basically, it reminds me of the Toxic Truck, which it basically is just under a new banner of Super Fueled. And this truck is number 74 out of 75. So this was the second to last truck for 2021. And I like it. I really do like this truck. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the shark casting. This and Megalodon from Spin Master, they're some of my favorite looking trucks. However, I really do like the way this one shines. Now, we did see a Hot Wheeler one. We did see a Roger Dodger one this year. But the shark one always seems to stick out to me. And I try hard not to go based off the fact that it's a shark. But it just looks so cool. It really, really does. And it's nice to see. Now, in case M here... Out of all the trucks, this truck was never released until this case, which is kind of interesting because it's not a new truck, it's not a new casting, and it kind of makes you wonder why they waited so long to release this one. Now, this is pretty cool though. I do like it. Last year, this truck was pretty challenging to find. I couldn't really find it, and this version of the truck right here is the 2020 version. It's basically the same as the 2021 version. There's nothing different. The name of the truck is Shark Reek. The creature is the truck type. The strength is the powerful jars. And the crash attack is the shark tooth chomp. So if you're watching my last video, basically Tiger Shark has the same exact um, stats on the back here. But pretty cool. And like I said, there's nothing different. Both have a chrome chassis. Both have the kind of transparent, yellowish, toxic roll cage. And... Basically, everything is the same on the truck. Everything is the same from the Caution kind of logos to the Hot Wheel logo. I mean, it's just a copy and paste truck, but however, this truck was only out for a limited time in 2020, and if you missed it, now you have a chance to get it. But it's kind of interesting they didn't release this truck sooner in the year. Now, this is when this case gets very interesting because there's two trucks here left. They're both Team Bigfoot trucks. They were both brand new for 2021. However, it's going to be really difficult to pick my favorite one out of the, both of these because both of them are done very nice. However, the truck I'm going to pick coming in at number two for this case is none other than this one right here. And there's a big reason for it. And it's none other than the Bigfoot ride truck. Okay. So, with the Bigfoot ride truck being number two, obviously Snakebite is number one truck in this case for me. However, the reason this truck is number two for me is because of the paint job. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do not like this paint scheme whatsoever. And I understand Hot Wheels wants to make new schemes, but this is just... I, I just don't like it. <laughs> now, when it got released that a Bigfoot ride truck was coming out, and getting made tons of people wanted bigfoot 8 because there is a bigfoot ride truck with that scheme with the cruiser paint scheme 
I was kind of hoping along the lines of the Chrome Illusion Bigfoot from the early 2000s. Ah, oh, man, this paint scheme. <laughs> so, this truck to me is just kind of odd. I don't like the paint scheme. However, this is truck number 73 out of 75. It is nice to see a Bigfoot ride truck, don't get me wrong. Um, it basically has the same facts as the original Bigfoot. I do like what they did with this truck, however. So, this scheme was released earlier in the year, and I believe it was case... I don't know, it could be case D, maybe? D or E? And it was this truck right here. Now, the only problem I had with this truck was it was released on that Bigfoot 1 casting... And that's okay. I mean, that that's all right. It's our first time seeing this paint scheme. The truck in real life actually does have that paint scheme, that orange and blue Hot Wheels paint scheme. And it's all right. It was cool seeing it the first time. However, I think this paint scheme does look better on this casting. I really love this casting for Bigfoot because it's more of basically when I was growing up, even though the truck was an F-150 and not an F-350 or 450, I liked it. <laughs> it just appeals to me more. However, I just I don't like this paint scheme. I, I just really don't. It's nice to see a Bigfoot ride truck, and that's why it's number two. However, if this was a Bigfoot scheme like Bigfoot 8, or the Chrome Illusion scheme, or even the 1998 version of Bigfoot, it would have been number one. I just, I really hope they make some more like retro Bigfoot paint schemes maybe, or maybe even the trophy truck body cruiser bigfoot or power wheels bigfoot team i mean it is nice don't get me wrong however in this case with this paint scheme that's why it's number two this truck is actually pretty hard to find i've only found two of them but i mean just i don't know i i just i don't like that paint scheme <laughs> that's really all i got to say about it but um yeah i was really hoping for like a bigfoot eight ride truck but nonetheless i am happy we finally did get a bigfoot ride truck even if it was with this new weird orange and blue scheme. So with that being said, obviously there's one truck left in this case, and it's pretty fitting how this was in case A, and it was the first truck that we saw for 2021, and it's also going to be the last truck for 2021 at least, and it's none other than Snakebite. Now, growing up, Snakebite was one of my favorite trucks. When this truck was released in photos around this time last year and basically hinted at from Team Bigfoot and everything, it was awesome. To finally see a Snakebite diecast truck for the first time since 1991, one that actually looked right, one that looked great, it's just, this honestly might be Hot Wheels best truck for 2021. It is so hard to compare anything to it. Now, the cool thing with this was, um, I just realized it said truck 1 out of 75, <laughs> but, um, I really like the fact that they made snake bite, and I like the fact that they didn't just make one snake bite, they made three of them, and it is so cool to finally see this truck being made. It's awesome. It's really, really awesome. And I love how they made the red snake bite in the double pack, which you see in front of you. And then you see the old, old school snake bite from 1991, the treasure hunt. It is just awesome. I think snake bite, hands down, this year Hot Wheels definitely knocked it out of the ballpark. This casting is done right. They did everything right with this truck for 2022. If you guys did see some of the photos online, they do have trucks with the hook caps or the kind of the hubs and the wheels to where it's not like a rim, but a basically a hub cap. Please make this truck again with those hub caps, <laughs> not wheels. You have to do it. But there it is, Snakebite, hands down the best looking truck. I have to say this is probably once I make my top ten video for Hot Wheels this year, coming out later in December. I don't know, it's going to be hard to choose, but hands down, this is the best diecast truck. At least in this case, and definitely case A, when I first saw Snake Bites, so many of us were just so happy to finally see this truck being made. This is just an added bonus, and I really wish they made a Bigfoot 1 treasure hunt like that as well for the Bigfoot 8 scheme, but, you know. I mean, it's just, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know what truck can compare in this case. The Bigfoot ride truck, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's nice. But I think that scheme is just really holding it 
back, and that's why it's number two. I feel like a lot of you guys would feel the same with that. If this was a Bigfoot 8 scheme, maybe on like the old school 1993 casting, or you know, even the one that we got in the double pack with this one, maybe this would have been higher, but. I don't know, snake bite, that's hard to beat. That is just honestly hard to beat. So there it is, guys. That is all the cases for Hot Wheels in 2021 with Monster Trucks. Now, I don't have Case H. There will be a Case H video being made whenever I can find that case. But for the time being, I think Hot Wheels did a good good year this year. I think they did very well. Snake Bite, definitely a truck that came out of left field, and it's been basically the anchor all year for Hot Wheels, and it's the best truck in the first case and the last case, in my personal opinion. However, this is a strong second, but I just, I don't like that scheme. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you think, you know, Bigfoot Ride Truck, all right, yeah, that's cool. If that was the best one, maybe you guys like Race Ace or the Scorpion Truck or Venom Hulk. There is a lot of good trucks in this case, and a lot of these trucks, Race Ace, Scorpedo, the Camaro Truck, you know, Torque Terror, a lot of those trucks were in the early cases for 2021, so... You know, it's nice to see if you guys did miss getting those ones in the beginning of the year. You did have a chance to get them now. However, I do wish their schemes were a little different. But nonetheless, a solid year for Hot Wheels. I think they did very well with certain trucks. Other trucks, eh. I can't wait to see what 2020 brings. Or 2022, wow, brings for Hot Wheels. And yeah, it's going to wrap it up for Case M. So if you guys found this case, let me know in the comments. Let me know your favorite truck. If you think it's Bigfoot or Snake Bite. And I shall see you guys in another video very shortly. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.